welcome to day number 15 of our Advent Yoga. So today we are going to be performing part two of our Ashtanga primary series. We will first of all be starting with our sun salutations A and B, so just like what we did yesterday. We will then be starting to work through the seated asanas and if you tend to use a block you may find this beneficial and if you also want to use a strap I would also get hold of one of those now so pause this video and go and find whatever it is that you tend to use. And as I said before, we will not be performing all of the sequences and all of the asanas and we will not be including the vinyasas between each one, which tends to happen in the Ashtanga flow. However, we will be going through just a few of the different positions and just be helping to stretch out and strengthen through the legs and into the back. So if you need to pause this video, please do so now. Otherwise, just like yesterday, starting at the top of your mat, being ready to begin our sun salutations. Okay, so starting with your feet just hip distance apart, we begin to lift the arms up, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, hinge forwards from the hips, arriving into your Uttanasana forward fold, and lengthen up to a halfway lift. Plant the hands down, and you're stepping back into your plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga and then push through to your cobra or your sphinx position exhale into your downward facing dog easing down the heels one at a time bend the knees and either walk or jump your feet forwards to arrive back into uttanasana inhale we lift the arms up taking another deep breath in gazing up towards the ceiling exhale hinge forwards from the hips back down to uttanasana and then inhale up to a halfway lift Plant the hands down, step your feet back or jump, and then exhale into your chaturanga. Cobra sphinx or upward facing dog and breathing out into your downward facing dog. Bend the knees and walk or jump your feet forwards again, arriving back at the top of your mat. We slowly rise up, taking the arms back out to the side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hinge forwards again. And then coming up to your halfway lift, exhale, plant the hands down, stepping your feet back into your plank pose. Shift the weight forwards, exhale, chaturanga, lengthen through. And exhale as you send the glutes all the way back again, downward facing dog. Walk or jump your feet forwards, lengthen up. And then slowly start to rise up, lifting the arms all the way up, inhale, stretch. Exhale, hinging forwards again from the hips, arriving in Uttanasana. Lifting up to your halfway lift, and then exhale, plant the hands down, stepping your feet back. Shift the weight forwards, Chaturanga, lower down. Breathe in as you come up to Cobra Sphinx or Upward Dog. Exhale into Downward Dog, pulling through the knees if you want to. Walk or jump your feet forwards, arriving in Uttanasana Forward Fold. Begin to roll up, grounding through the feet, lifting the arms up. Exhale, we go again, swan dive down. Lifting up to your halfway lift, planting the hands back down. Walk or jump your feet back. Shift the weight forwards, inhale and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale into your downward facing dog. And then walk or jump your feet forwards, arriving at the top of your mat, Uttanasana. And then slowly rise up, lifting the arms up, deep breath in. Bringing the hands back to heart centre and just taking a moment here to grab some water, rest, connect again with your breath. And we swing the arms up, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Making sure you can see your toes, knees are in line, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forwards into your Uttanasana forward fold. Lengthen back up through the spine, plant the hands down, walk or jump your feet back. Into your plank, exhale, chaturanga, lengthen through to cobra, sphinx or up dog and breathing out as you lengthen into your downward facing dog. Sending the right leg now up towards the sky, drawing that knee in. And stepping the foot through, dropping your back heel, foot is 45 degrees, 
lengthen up, push through to warrior one. Hips are facing forward. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step back into your plank pose, chaturanga, and push through to cobra sphinx or up dog. Exhale as you go into downward facing dog. This time lifting up with the left leg, extending up towards the sky. Three-legged dog, draw your left knee in, step the foot through. Right foot plants down, inhale, lift up, warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands back down to frame the foot, step back into plank, shift the weight forward, exhale, chaturanga. Pushing through to your cobra sphinx or up dog and breathing out again into downward facing dog. Walk or jump your feet forward, so rather than Uttanasana at the top of your mat, swing the arms forward, Uttakatasana chair pose. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release the hands back down. Grounding yourself again, you can take a moment to pause the video if you need. We then lift the arms all the way back up, stretching up and exhale, bend the knees, Uttakatasana again. Lengthening the spine, making sure you can see your toes, knees are in line. Breathe out, hinge forwards from the hips. Inhale up to your halfway lift. Exhale, the hands come down. Taking your feet back into your plank pose, chaturanga. And lengthen through to cobra sphinx or up dog. And then exhale into downward facing dog, lifting up the right leg. Draw that knee in. Step the foot through. Drop your back heel, push through the front foot, warrior one. Bring the hands all the way back down, frame the foot, stepping back into plank. Arriving in plank, chaturanga, and push through. Breathing out, pushing back into downward facing dog. We start to lift up in a moment with the left leg when you're ready. Draw that knee in, gazing forward, step the foot through. Drop the back heel, push through your left leg. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands back down. Stepping back into your plank and chaturanga. Lengthening through to cobra or upward facing dog and breathing out into your downward facing dog. Pedaling through the knees one at a time. Walk or jump your feet forwards. Arriving in Uttanasana, swing the arms forwards. Uttakatasana chair pose. Lengthen up, take a deep breath in and exhale, bring the hands back down. Okay, so now that we have finished our sun salutations, we are going to come and sit ourselves on our mat. To begin our seated positions for our Ashtanga Pranam series. So come and sit down in the centre of your mat, ensure you're onto your sitting bones, spine nice and long. Hands just press down gently onto the earth beneath you and extend both legs out in front, making sure that your knees are facing up towards the ceiling, that your feet are flexed. Try and keep the spine nice and long as we hold our Dandasana pose for about five breaths. You can sit on the block as well just to help lengthen through the spine. And after your five deep breaths in, you're going to lengthen up through the spine, taking the arms out to the side, taking a deep breath in, and then exhale, hinge forwards from the hips, reaching as far forwards as you can. Just stretch through the back of the hamstrings. And begin to hold the side of the feet if you can. If not, do not worry, grab hold of your strap and use that to help pull you into a deeper stretch. And again, just staying here for a couple more breaths. And you have a couple of options. You can either start to just slowly release 
or you can continue to stretch and if you're able to take hold of your feet now begin to bring your hands around the top of your feet and above around the toes if you're using a strap as I said you can slowly release and then exhale back into your forward fold stretch Paschimottanasana and again just holding this for a few breaths And then whenever you're ready, just slowly begin to release the hands, bringing them to the thighs. Maybe giving the legs a bit of a shake if you want to and place the hands either side of you. We're going to now work into our reverse plank. So you're going to start to lift the hips up towards the sky, activating through the arms and the shoulders, keeping the spine nice and long. Lifting the hips up, you can bring the feet to the mat and lift up into a reverse tabletop if you prefer. Trying not to take the head too far back, so you're keeping the neck nice and long, and then very slowly lower yourself back down. Okay, so we are now going to be bringing the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. You're going to lift the arms all the way up, and again, you can use the strap if you need to. Start to hinge forwards from the hips over the left leg. Either said using a strap or if you're able to grab hold of your foot, either grabbing it with both hands, or your next option is to start to take your right arm round behind you to see if you can grab hold of the left thigh. So you're working gently into this forward fold, again holding for a couple of breaths. And then very slowly begin to release. Release the right leg, give your left leg a little bit of a shake and switch to the other side. So we now are bringing the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Lengthen the right leg and make sure knee is facing up towards the ceiling. Sitting up nice and tall first. Loop your strap around the sole of the foot if you need to and then gently hinge forwards from the hips, gazing forwards coming into your forward fold. Again, you have an option of holding your foot with the strap, using your hands, or taking your right hand to the outside of the right foot and taking your left arm all the way around the back, seeing if you can grab hold of that thigh. And then very slowly begin to release, giving both legs a little bit of a shake. Still being in Dandasana, we start to straighten the left leg again, bend the right. And you're going to bring your foot to the mat, but to the inside of the left thigh. You're going to sit up nice and tall. And as you begin to hinge forwards, you're going to start to take your right arm around your right leg. And your left arm is going to come all the way around behind you to see if you can make that bind with the hands. You can use a strap here in one hand and then try and feed it into the other so you have a little bit of support there. And gaze towards the left foot, making sure it is still flexed. We then very slowly begin to release. Give the legs a bit of a shake and switch to the other side. So you're now going to bring the left foot to the mat. You're going to straighten the right leg, sitting up nice and tall, hinging forwards from the hips. And then again, trying to make that bind with the hands. Gazing towards that foot. Three, two, one, and slowly release. Give the legs a bit of a shake. And so as I previously explained, we will be working through every single position in the Ashtanga Primary Series. We're just going to be doing a few. Otherwise, we will be taking a lot longer than planned. So what we're now going to do is take the legs out into a straddle pose. 
So you're going to keep your legs nice and wide here, sitting up nice and tall. Again, you can still sit on a block. Start to hinge forwards from the hips, taking your hands to your feet, gazing forwards. And you don't have to have your stomach on the floor. You can still stretch and breathe into this pose. Stretching through the inner thighs and into the hamstrings. Try and also lead forward with the chest. And if you want to try another option here is to start to bring the hands and the arms underneath the legs. So the hands are starting to go towards the back of the mat. The legs are straight and you're hinging forwards. And so the legs are over the top of your arms. And this is a very intense stretch here. And perhaps you wish to just give it a try. And perhaps you've never done this stretch before, but just be really mindful of how far you're pushing your body. We then very slowly start to release, giving the legs a bit of a shake. And then taking hold of your two piece fingers around your big toe, or you can hold the feet, it's up to you. Like we did earlier in one of our previous Advent yogas, we are going to start to use our core Sitting up nice and tall, begin to lift the feet off the mat. And begin to extend the legs out into a wide straddle pose. So we're not rolling back, we're upright in Kanasana. Opening out the chest and the heart as well. And just stay up here as long as you need to. You can come back down, have a bit of rest, have a second try. And then very slowly release. Give the legs a bit of a shake. Perfect. We're then going to come and lie down on the mat. Just start to bring the soles of the feet to the mat and drop the knees from side to side. Giving the hips and the back a little bit of a stretch. We're then going to come into our plough pose. Now you may want to have a block behind you if you're unable to get your feet completely to the floor. But perhaps you wish to just remain in your shoulder stand. It is up to you. But what you're going to do is you're going to start to bring the knees in towards the chest and start to send the hips up. Place your hands straight away onto your lower back for support and I advise you to not remove your hands from your lower back unless you're more an, of an advanced practitioner and you've been practicing this pose before. But I am going to show you with my hands resting on my back. And we're going to start to lift the legs up towards the sky coming into a shoulder stand. And perhaps this is all you're going to practice today. Or perhaps you wish to enter your plow pose by lowering the legs behind the head, making sure you're not rounding the spine too much. You're still keeping that spine nice and long and allowing the toes to touch the ground behind your head. I still advise you at this moment to keep your hands resting on your back. And then when you're ready, you can begin to use your core to slowly lift the legs all the way back up into your shoulder stand and then slowly release down into a more rested pose. Just to give the back a little bit of a rest. So it's entirely up to you if you wish to repeat that little sequence with our shoulder stand or plow, or just come now down into a relaxing pose, into Shavasana. I always invite anyone to bring their legs up the wall if they want to, or you can just rest in whichever position feels comfortable. And so thank you very much for joining in. Just a quick preview into the Ashtanga Primary Series. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and enjoy the rest of your day.
going today, don't forget to hit subscribe in order to follow the remainder of our Christmas Advent yoga sessions. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste.